while you're living in your home country, getting the Canadian PR now is not a piece of cake anymore. It's getting increasingly difficult, so probably the best option to immigrate to Canada these days is through the study route. If you're married, one question that comes to our mind is about the spousal work permit. Will your spouse be able to get the work permit if you come to Canada as an international student? And that is the topic of this video. We'll talk exactly about that. We'll talk about the details and the overview. We'll talk about the benefits that it will bring along with it. We'll also talk about some of the recent changes that has been introduced just last week about the process and yes, the processing times, the fees, all of those things as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So starting with the overview of this topic, first of all, people want to know that is it actually possible that your spouse can work in Canada while you're studying? So yes, it is definitely possible. If you're working in Canada as an international student, your spouse can get the work permit. And this certainly will make things a lot easier. We'll talk about the benefits that this thing might bring along with it. But before that, let's just check out what's mentioned in the official website of Government of Canada. So who can get a work permit as the spouse or common law partner of a student? So your spouse may be eligible for an open work permit if you have a valid study permit and are a full-time student at one of these schools, a public post-secondary school such as a college or university or CEGEP in Quebec, a private college level school in Quebec or a Canadian private school that can legally award degrees under provisional law. For example, bachelor's, master's or doctorate degrees. So hopefully it is very clear if you are coming to a designated college or a university that can offer you degree then you can apply for the spousal work permit and that work permit would be an open work permit so now let's talk about the benefits that it will actually bring along with it so first of all it's important to know that your spouse doesn't need a job offer in order to get this work permit so of course because the job offer is not required so lmia later nothing of that is actually required so which means that your spouse can get the work permit come to canada search for the job and then start working here the person who gets this open work permit can actually work for any company any organization at any position and if he or she does not like it they can switch the job all of that is possible there's no foundation on that then of course because your spouse would get the work permit they would get to come to Canada, you can live together. So obviously that long distance relationship, which is very difficult to handle at times, would be taken care of and you can live together here in Canada while you're studying, your spouse can be working. And because he or she would be working, which means that they can take care of the family's expenses. Of course, the expenses of living in Canada are very high. Maybe in the past few years you have been working and you're used to quite good lifestyles so you don't have to compromise with your lifestyle because your wife or your husband would be working while you're studying and because of that it may be a chance that if you don't want to work while you're studying you can skip that part and you can focus on your studies while as an international student you can work for a maximum of 20 hours but if you want to concentrate on your studies your spouse can work and you can focus on that and the last benefit which not many people know about is the benefit that you'll get in the express entry system so while you're studying your spouse can complete one year of uh, Canadian work experience and you both can apply for the Canadian permanent residency while your spouse is the principal applicant. So of course you don't have to wait for gaining the Canadian work experience because your spouse would have got it in the meanwhile and you can go ahead applying the PR through the express entry system. But yes here while you're planning that you definitely need to be very cautious because of the timelines you have to plan it that way and I'm sure if you were planning to settle in Canada you'd be smart enough to plan it that way okay now let's talk about the step-by-step -step process of applying the spousal work permit so first of all you should know that this is now an online process and you don't need to worry about filling out the paper forms so it's a lot easier so first of all of course you need to create a GC key account on the Canada.ca website and log in alternatively you can also actually choose a sign-in partner if you have a banking account here in Canada then you can log in through that way as well 
and of course clicking on the right link you have to fill up the forms online and yes needless to say that there would be a lot of information that you would need to provide in those forms then the third step would be to upload the documents which all documents we'll talk about this later in this video but just to give you an idea primarily passport digital photograph valid study permit uh, if you've already got the work permit and the marriage certificate these are the main documents and of course the fourth step is to pay the fee which is 255 Canadian dollars okay now talking about the timeline how you should actually plan it so first of all you should know that because of COVID the processing times are off the charts of almost all the applications so now the current timelines are somewhere from four to five months you may get it a little earlier or maybe in six months time but that's the general timeline of four to five months in the second half of 2021 now the validity of the spousal work permit is same as the study permit so let's say that so let's say that the husband is an international student and if he has a study permit of one year then the spouse his wife would actually get the work permit for one year if it's for two years then she would get it for two years now the very important question when should it be applied now there are no rules as such your spouse partner can apply for a work permit before or after they arrive in canada so let's say that you got the study permit you came to canada your spouse can actually apply the work permit while he or she is in the home country or in many cases people get the tourist visa come to canada and then apply for the work permit so both of them are possible you can also apply the spousal work permit along with the study permit so that is also acceptable now there will always be a debate on the chances of getting the spousal work permit approved along with the study permit sometimes people say that because there's a spousal work permit application along with the study permit so the chances of the approval of the study permit gets lower but it's not the case i know few people who have got it who got the spousal work permit along with the study permit so both the husband and wife actually came to Canada on the same flight while one started studying the spouse actually started working and now they've even applied for their PR and hopefully they should get it sometime soon so it is definitely possible but I don't want to comment on the chances because it depends from one case to the other from one file to the other okay now when we've talked all about that now let's talk about few of the changes that have been introduced just last week and they're very crucial so until now there was a loophole in this system let's say that uh, husband came on the study permit and the wife actually came on an open work permit so some people at times used to take benefit of the loophole the person who was there on the study permit would quit his or her studies and would get the work permit because they were spouse of someone who had the work permit so rcc recognized this loophole and they initiated a new term named as principal foreign national who is that person they have said the principal foreign national is the first foreign national of the couple who obtained a study or the work permit and now according to the new rule the principal foreign national cannot obtain a spousal open work permit based on the dependent spouse's spousal open work permit so that loophole has been covered now it's not possible but yes for all of those people who were not thinking of taking benefit of this loophole you don't need to worry about it but there have been a couple of more changes that have been introduced for that i'll take you to the official website of government of canada and walk you through it pretty quickly so this page is what i was talking about first of all in this page they've mentioned some of the changes c41 42 43 until 45 and you can see those changes over here uh, c41 is general eligibility for spouses of skilled workers then c42 is spouses of study permit holders c43 is pgwp and so on so we can definitely check uh, what all changes they have suggested first of all they've talked about the same change that i told you about principal foreign national then after that they said about the genuineness of the relationship they'll be pressing it up they would be giving it much more importance than before improving about uh, the relationship if the relationship is genuine or not then after that here they have mentioned about the c41 category which all documents would be required 
then c42 category which is for the uh, study permit uh, holders that we're talking about in this video so you can check out the detailed documents if you click on uh, this link here they've mentioned here that in general spouses of study permit holders require evidence that the principal foreign national holds a valid study permit evidence that the principal foreign national is enrolled in the post graduation work permit eligible study program which means a study program which is eligible for PGWP and institution as described uh, here and evidence that the principal foreign national is actively pursuing full-time studies these are all the changes that have been suggested if you want to go ahead uh, to check out this link in detail I'll provide this link in the description box below so that it is helpful to you so that's it for this video guys I really hope that the information that I've provided in this video would be helpful to you if yes please put your feedback in the comment section below you can also put your queries down there also do not forget to click the subscribe button that's very very important thanks again for watching this video